हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर गुरु हब आई एम सुमित कुमार नागर एंड टुडे विल शास्ट अ वीडियो अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इन दिस वीडियो और वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट आर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क दैट आर प्रेजेंट टिल डे और वी कैन से व्हाट uh what are different type of naming conventions that are used for our computer network so these are the list of content that i'll be telling you in this video we will start with the lan man wan pan can and will land up to vpn so coming to the very first point that is lan local area network you have heard it about a lots of time so what is lan is in basic layman terms is basically a lan is a connection of two or more computers if i will connect two or more computers via single cross over cable using a switch hub or a switch or hub or any wireless access point that is confined to a small building it will make up a lan so basically lan uses private ip address and the other name for lan is known as intranet now come comes man it means metropolitan area network you can refer it when i combine multiple lans of a particular area that area can be a city or a town when they all are combined together they'll make a man uh in layman terms we can use the basic example it's like a cable tv service provider in your area or any computer network service provider in your area so what basically it does it provides lan facility to various offices buildings and homes in your area so when this all portion is combined it will make up to a wan so in basically in man we can have a combination of private address as well as public addresses so we know by definition that a network or we can say an internet is a network of networks so what network of networks makes it makes a wan it means a wide area network when we can say when huge amount of lans or mans are connected together they make wide area network that is called as wan so basically in wan we use public ip address and it is confined to countries or continents and it is the combination of various type of networks so now comes pan that is our personal area network personal area network if you combine each and every device each and every computing device that are using your at your home your office so when they all are connected together they make up a network and it is called as pan it is called as personal area network it is like when i connect my computer with bluetooth enabled keyboard or mouse that also make a network and it is called as pan so basically what i can be the various component of pan it can be keyboard mouse printer watches now moving to the next content we have can it means campus area network when a network facility is provided in a college hospital or in a organization that can that make up of two or three buildings that are confined together it will make an campus area network and a campus area network can have a router a firewall or we can say our isp that is our internet service provider and basically it will provide the functionality of internet now moving to the next part we have soho soho means small office or home office so when i connect all components together of my office and i have a strength of less than 20 employees then the parts that all combine together or the network i make is known as small office or a home office network the various component of soho can be 
PC, laptop, switch, printer, and if I'm using a small scale router that provide that can be a wireless router or a router with that will with 10 to 15 or 20 ports. So if I have a small office that make a Soho LAN, but if I'm working with a very large organization and that has more than 20 employees that can be extended up to 1000, 2000 lakhs of employee and the network that a company then make it is known as EPN that means enterprise private network. So it is same like Soho, but it is implemented on a bigger scale on a bigger scale and there are two or more three different type of devices that are connected together the connected devices together can be a firewall that can be a physical one or software one routers printers so when i can or cloud the new terms that in uh, that we are using in the internet in cloud when all these systems are combined together they make an enterprise network that is called as epn now the next network type is SCN that means storage area network storage area network it, it is a specialized high speed network and it is used to provide block level network access storage block level access storage that exactly means if I am getting storage on internet or we can say a different form of cloud or uh, we can take an example like your Google Drive. So Google Drive is basically what it does. It provide our storage facility. But how it provide the facility storage? It have various data servers installed at different locations. When they are combined together, they are known as SAN. It means storage area network. Now moving to the next slide, we have wireless LAN. It is called as WLAN. So wireless LAN is nothing but a LAN connectivity or a LAN network with a wireless connectivity. It means when I use the same component to create a LAN, but instead of Ethernet cable or any kind of wired network, I am using wireless connectivity. So when multiple devices are connected together via wireless point, then it is known as wireless LAN. So now moving to the next area, we have VPN. VPN is virtual private network. Till now we have studied about Soho, that is small office home office. And it is used for when I have computing device that are less than 20. But when the devices are become greater than 20, that is called as enterprise network. But if suppose I am working in a firm that have different offices located at different locations throughout the world but somehow i want to connect them and connect them in a private way so that only authenticated user can connect to my network so when the epn implementation takes on a larger scale that is on internet then it will become that vpn that is virtual private network in virtual private network, uh, my network is extended up to internet and it allow remote user and branch offices to securely access corporate application and other resources. It means a person working at a different location can access my resources or a company resources and it will seem that it is connected to a single unified network. In VPN, both encryption of data take place so that the data security will be there and any person that is connected to any remote location can access my network so these are the basic type of networks that are used in computer internet so that's all from this video and uh, if you like the video you can please like comment and subscribe to the channel and if you want to find out more about computer guru hub then computer guru hub is available on youtube blogger and facebook as well